Welcome to 1111, which is a segment from my podcast where I talk about a topic for 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, so today's topic is five ways to be sexy. Um, I wrote them all down right here in this little journal that I used to uh, that I used to use for therapy. But <laughs> I, I feel like that should be like number six because it's like, babes, babes, go to therapy, please. Um, but these are five ways to be sexy i love those videos where it's like five ways to actually i don't i don't have nothing in mind right now but five ways to be sexy number one spiritual hygiene okay i'm sorry but for me i find it extremely sexy when like i i'm meditating i i just broke my streak of eight days yesterday i did not meditate yesterday call me crazy i did not meditate yesterday um i did meditate today so hey today's a new day but i find it very sexy when people meditate and i find it even sexier when couples meditate like together i'm like twins but um i feel like spiritual hygiene is incredibly important to me just as much as like at physical hygiene but spiritual hygiene way more important to me because I need to make sure, like, your brain is good. <laughs> like, I need to make sure that, like, you know, journaling is important. It makes me feel hotter because it makes me feel more organized with my head. Um, Working out. I feel like working out is part of spiritual hygiene. Mainly because working out, you release so many, like, good and positive and, like, f- and, like good, uh, 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 good energy. And, like, I feel like when people work out, you're just in a healthy headspace. And, like, you're just healthy and i think that's sexy to me um you know not looking a certain way but just like working out it's like lit you know (laughs) uh reading is also part of spiritual hygiene i feel like reading for me okay so i've been reading that book right there it's uh by um the author that wrote uh uh the four agreements but today i found out that it's actually his kid who wrote the book so i'm reading like a nepo a nepo baby's book um, from Don Miguel Ruiz, and it says junior, I'm a junior too, twins, but, I'm like, okay, but, reading, sexy to me, I, reading spiritual books, sexier, reading, honestly, reading in general, sexy, unless it's, like, scary books, um, not scary books, but, like, weird, like, Donald Trump and, like, Republican memoirs, oh, I'm sorry, call me crazy, but, like, that's a pause. That's a hard pass. Smash or pass? Pass. Okay, pass. Okay, we're going to rate smash or pass books. Um, if you read, like, uh, well, okay, mm, I was going to say, like, Bell Hooks, but she's very transphobic, so, like, nor pass. Um, but, like, honestly, anything, just pick up a book, babe. Pick up a book. I find that sexy. Um, two, if you listen to this song. I like got introduced to this band uh this week th- Monday life is pff, brain pff, I just love this EP oh my god crazy if you listen to them I feel like if you listen to like Raul Alejandro um like just really good like lit music I'm like if you listen to Nati Peluso Okay, so today I did legs, destroyed my legs. I listened to Nathie Peluso throughout, through and through. Amazing, crazy, good, I loved it. Also, do you hear my nephews in the back? Yeah, and th- we live in this house. Three, be confident. Okay, I know this is silly, and I know, I know this is silly, and like, you know, call me crazy, but like, being confident is something so sexy to me, and I know it's something to be like, well, you know, j- you, can, you can just say be confident. This house is stupid. You can just say be confident, and that's it. Babes, it's very easy. Listen to me. You are sexy. You are, like, no one has, like, no one decides if you're sexy or not, okay? You decide it. You're sexy. Because everyone is kind of like, everyone just, everyone just follows the standards of, like, men. And everyone just decides, okay, you're sexy or not, based off, like, men's standards. Nor. You're sexy because you said so. Now, walk in every room with that attitude. I'm sexy because I said so. You're not going to change my mind, nor my attitude nor my energy, nothing, because I'm sexy. So, one of the ways that I practice being, like, how to be confident and, like, sexy, eye contact. Eye contact is, like, the sexiest thing to me. I love making eye contact. Like, I will be, like, 
<laughs> hi. Not like that, but like, you know, just hi. Like, eye contact. Normally, eye contact. Sexy. You, like, get this boost of confidence making eye contact. Okay, number four. Be nice. I think be nice is, like, the sexiest thing ever. I don't know. Call me crazy. But, like, I just... Sorry, I got a text message. But, like, being nice is, like, ooh, like, I just feel like being nice is one of the sexiest things someone can do. Like, I, I'm sorry, call me crazy, but there's nothing funny, there's nothing cool, there's nothing sexy about mean people. There's nothing cool about, like, actively hating something in the public and, like, telling people or, like, actively, like, hating the way someone dresses or, like, being mean or like bullying i don't know if it just stems from me like getting bullied <laughs> i don't know if it stems from me like being fat and like getting bullied so now i'm like girl do not be it is it, it does not cost you nothing to be nice also like when you're nice you get obviously we don't do things to get stuff in return i feel like that's like something i'm trying to like erase from my brain of doing things to get stuff in return unless it's work but like that's different but like when you're nice you get cosmic re cosmic rewards back and like it's going to pay you back in, like, a very good way. You're going to make friends. You're going to feel nice about yourself. You're going to, like, just be like, hee hee ha ha ha, you know? Like, just be nice. It's it's really free. It's not that hard. Like, when... Okay, so something... Let's say that you, like, are have this habit of, like, critiquing people. Because, you know, we're humans. We do that sometimes. I'm always like, can I fix this in 10 seconds? Me pointing out that you have acne that i have a pimple in my nose me pointing out that you know uh the whatever it is things that people are mean to you about or like things that you sometimes are mean to other people can this be fixed in 10 seconds no right no if it cannot be fixed in 10 seconds do not bring do not bring anything up second of all if you're not gonna like give the improvement if you're gonna like critique someone's clothes for what they wear and if you're not gonna like buy them something new don't even critique them if you're not going to fix the issue, do not critique someone else's life. Because first of all, here's the thing. You do not know where these people are, like where they are mentally. Two, you do not know if like this person is having like the worst day. Three, you genuinely it just uh, uh, mind your business. Like these are people's lives. Like babes, do not be mean to people. Be nice. Um, I also feel like that goes on like social media. Like I'm, I'm absolutely like not the person to like comment hateful stuff like that's very cringy and like weird but for you whoever is listening to this and like you're mean babes is this not sound sexy that's boo boo okay boo so no um next i feel like for me the sexiest thing that i can find in someone is like when they're passionate about life i'm i'm, I'm sorry but like when someone is passionate about living life and like everything that life has to offer like it has it, it can be with like music it can be with like a movie it can be with a book it can be with like what they're just looking at or like it, visually anything just anything that you're passionate about i instantly am like mm, tell me all like i instantly am just like i i i literally need to know everything about you because it's like finding someone who's passionate and like finding someone who actually like cares is something so important and something so beautiful to me because it's kind of like i feel okay it's personally for me i love to be passionate about my life it can be like the most mundane thing ever it can be the most nine to five thing ever it can be the most like boring hobbies ever but when you find passion in something it just brightens your life and it brightens just your mood your energy how you go along in your life it's just like the best feeling ever to me that when when I'm able to like find hobbies and when I'm able to read articles or read books or draw or find something cool on Pinterest, I'm sorry, but I love to share it. I love to like talk to you about it. And I'm like, I just wish that a lot of people had this mindset of like being passionate about things. I feel like people are not passionate about things enough. And it can be like the most simplest thing ever. It can be the most like, you know, basic thing ever. I have no problem with that. Like I said again, we're not judging here, babes. You can be obsessed with Justin Bieber all you want. I'm I'm here to listen. Tell me all about, you know, his tour. Tell me all about him, you know? I'll, maybe... Mm, I like Justin Bieber. He's lit. But, like, I'm Team Selena. So, like, sorry, babes. But, like, he has lit music, you know? Where are you now that I need you? Also, ooh, another very sexy song, like, that I just feel, like, so sexy listening to it is, uh... Okay, Lately... 
this on. Lit. Uh, 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 fuck. I don't know, just like listen to really like good sexy music. Like literally go on, Sp I feel like Spotify has like sexy playlists and you're gonna like, you know, just, I just, okay, listen to me. You are sexy, okay? You don't like, these things are just ways that I feel sexy and like ways that I, like whenever I meet someone, I'm like, like they just get sexier to me. But like, there's so many more things that I'm like, okay, there's like all of this. I just narrowed it down to five things and like, I don't know, call me crazy, but like, I love it. You know, I, I love like being able to be sexy. <laughs> I love being sexy. Like, it's just something that like, it's a mindset. It's truly a mindset because I will not look like this. Again. Like I'm going to grow and obviously probably get hotter. Hello. Duh. But I'm also never going to look the way that I look like when I was 20. And I need to feel like it's a mind. I need to know and like understand that this is a mindset and whatever age and whatever life form I'm in, I'm still going to be so sexy because it's mental, babe. Anyways, love you. Bye. Please be safe. Also, remind remind yourself, you are sexy. Look in the mirror every single morning and be like, you're sexy beast. Anyways, love you. Bye.